So obviously, big, big question for your character because everyone is very upset by her being swallowed up by some sort of rock thing. So what can you say about her current status? Thanks for being upset about that. Um, I just don't know, Eric. We don't know anything. I, I hope that she's safe. I mean, she's she's gathered a lot of survival skills over the past two seasons. So, I mean, she's better equipped now than she would have been a year ago if she survived whatever happened and if she's somewhere with air. I mean, she could be anywhere. So, I don't know. I'm sorry. No worries. Uh, Fitz, you know, there, he was, it was quite a struggle for him all season, both within himself and then with Simmons. They had their issues. Now that she is gone, wherever she is, will this make him extremely motivated because he was starting to kind of get things back together with her into a better place? Yeah, yeah, I think that's exactly it. I think he'll, um, I think he'll definitely be a, bit, a lot more hands-on and be a lot more investigative. I don't know what that Whoa. word, Whoa. longest word I've ever said, by Amazing. the way. Brilliant. Yep. And, uh, you're, you're, bring, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're bringing in the Secret Warriors. Last season, obviously, we, we met the Inhumans. Sky developed powers. But are you guys excited to see sort of how the dynamic changes of this team as more of these people might show up that have abilities? Yeah, definitely. And I think people will have different um, views on how that should go down and, you know, with Captain America and Iron Man having different points of view on that sort of thing. I think you'll maybe we'll see that mirrored in the group somehow, or I think any sort of change is going to bring differing of opinions. So, and also it's exciting just for us because there's going to be cool characters we feel like that might, you know, join in. And, uh, lastly, Ward has been obviously you know what he's what's he going to do next has been a big question. At the end of the season, he tried to kill a couple of your members, so he certainly had not turned over and he leave. When your characters, they've had run-ins with him again, but would you like to see them really get to confront him, maybe even physically in a way they haven't been able to yet since they uh, there's a score to settle there? Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I mean, he's been a bit of an asshole. Let's do it, let's be... Put it out I'm there. I'm sorry to use that type of language like this. What else I don't... can you say, though? So, yeah, but I would, but at the same time, you know, Fitz is the body of a 12-year-old and, you know, Brett's or Ward is built like Hulk Hogan, so you know how to see that we'd have to use. We'd he's have to use minds. our minds. Yes. They're gonna pull out some things he's never gonna see coming, right? For sure. Yeah. I mean, Simmons still wants to kill him, For, so I think she's, you know, just gonna figure out a way to make that happen. Maybe you could put him in the stone thing that you went into. Oh yes, push him in there. Yeah. But what if it leads to a great place? We don't know where oh, yeah. it leads. It could be like a well, disco. Well, like, yeah, and it's like hills that are all dev multicolored with cupcakes yeah. everywhere. It and could be just a new form to get in a club. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of ways this to go. You're just having a great time. You've gone down this could black hole. Could be having hole, a great and time. A, and you don't want to come back, and I yeah. pull you back, and you're like, yeah. geez, Fitz, oh, my God, let's have so such a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much.